Youth Build USA started about 45 years ago in Harlem, East Harlem, New York. The goal of, of Youth Build is to help young people really capture their lives. These, lots of times they're young people who have gotten off track for one reason or another. But whatever the reason was that kept them from succeeding up to now, our goal is to help them understand what that was, to deal with it, and to move on into a successful adulthood. I think Youth Build is the perfect place to realize that um, Together we can build really great things no matter what our skills are. Um, there's something for everyone here. The Youth Build model really is set up so that young people learn who they are in the community. They learn um, why it's important to give back and how that giving back really makes them an important part of the community. I once was a product of my environment as far as stealing cars, selling drugs, robbing houses, robbing people, all the negative, trying to make my way out <clears throat> of the product of my mind. As I've been coming here for these last two and a half months, I've been determined to get my GED. I've been determined to show up on time. I've been determined to put effort in construction when I don't have a clue about what to do in construction. I've been determined to do all of these things. It don't matter where my path leads me as long as I'm successful and I enjoy doing the work that I'm doing. And I believe that you build is going to help me be successful and no matter which way I turn as long as I'm not moving backwards. I remember when Marcus first came, uh, he was extremely quiet and shy and actually told us in an evaluation meeting that um, he at parts of his life that he was so shy he was just absolutely unable to speak about things that he needed to tell people. At those times it was either dead or jail like it was wicked for me like I didn't know what I was going to eat for that day how I was going to be able to eat how I was going to maintain how I was going to take a shower I didn't know none of it so education and being successful wasn't even in my mind at all. About a month ago he presented to the board of Youth Build Louisville and one of the things that he said is that he feels like now he's found his voice. I feel so comfortable being in Youth Build that I could just talk to anybody about any situation whether I know a lot about it or a little about it but I could sit there and talk to anybody about it and that's what I meant when I found my voice like I'm talking more like trying to explore more you know what I'm saying learn more about opening it on my mouth. And that I think that that sense of confidence that he's gained uh, by really finding a way to say the things that are important to him uh, will lead him on through life. Well, Marcus started the program in September and since that time he's earned his GED. Oh, my heart dropped. I was filled with joy. Like Once that happened I just knew life was better. Over the last couple months things have really gelled for him in terms of his future and he understands clearly which way he wants to move. To be successful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's I can say it's most for all of us, but for him more than others. What I always wanted to do was physical therapy. So by me getting my GED, I can now have the chance to go to college and do so. Marcus is ready. He's ready to launch. It's time. He has found his own wings and uh, really think that no matter what life throws at him, he's going to be able to manage it. I actually see myself helping people, you know, as far as from the physical therapy standpoint or the construction standpoint or just at a church or something, just building people's, you know, spirits up and letting them know that you can do it. Like, I've been down that same road and I know how that road is, so if anything is possible, you can be successful. Just basically somewhere helping people, like a motivational speaker, a speaker or something, if I'm not able to do my physical therapy or fall back on construction. Just giving back as much as I can to the youth or just adults, you know what I'm saying, that's been down my path and done the things that I've done and feel like there's not a change, like they can't change. So that'll be something that I find myself doing about five, ten years from now. It's just been an overall success for me being here. When I look in the mirror, I just see a brighter person, and 
I stay prayed up. I stay praying a whole lot now because without God, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And having that faith in Him, not just myself, and knowing that everything's gonna be okay, is unbelievable. Like my whole perspective on life changed. Like I can't even see myself doing nothing evil no more without thinking about God seeing this. God's gonna catch me doing this. Then I didn't care. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think about God is watching me. But now, like I have to. I think twice before doing something. That's just the conscience in my head telling me that God is watching. And that faith is always there to keep me from doing illegal things, you know?